you have finished. Drive back to the pit lane. <laughs> One marshal, last lap, last corner. Enjoy your racing. Hello, folks. Welcome to that Cruiser RC. All right, we're doing Nitro Blast 1 as the qualifier of this week, and this will be the first time trying this track. I'm just going to run it around here with my Samwell radio and uh, just try and learn this track a little bit better. I've still got the setup that I had. Whoa, huge air. <laughs> I still have the setup that I had from last week, mains, and uh, I just want to run around here and see how we do. I have to completely learn this track. I'm still on the setup from the mains and I think they're a little bit wrong, a little bit pushy. So I'm gonna have to uh, talk to some of my friends and get some idea of their setups, work on my own setups and figure out how to actually do this. So th what you're seeing here is probably my worst performance, my first time around this track with this setup. It feels extremely pushy, probably because I've got that 10,000 uh, on the front diff. So I'll probably need to do change that Left and one, change some of the gearing and some other setup seconds. and uh, we'll go from there. All right, another quick little test. All I've done is I've added a uh, higher downforce wing. I still had a low downforce wing on from the last track. So I added high downforce wing and the bigger battery, the 6,500 milliamp hour battery. So I just want to see if the pushiness is gone or if I still need to change my diff oils. Seems like I'm still gonna have to change my diff oils. Or it's just me driving poorly. That's the other thing, is it could be. It's probably a bit of both. Okay, we're gonna do the qualifiers at Nitro Blast 1. And I made a couple of tweaks to the setup uh, based on some talking and some testing that I've done just in private sessions. First thing is the wing has changed. I've put on the team associated wing and I've changed the tires to be blockade soft. So those are really the only changes. Let me turn on my radio here and I'll show you what I do on this track. Certainly it's, uh, it's loose. It definitely benefits slower is faster. I'm going to show you my setup sheet. So let me go to the setup sheet and this is the setup that I'm using for qualification. So you can take a look at that, screenshot it, do whatever, and uh, see if it works out. The only things that have really changed is I've increased max throttle to 100% before it was on 96 and I've changed punch setting down to medium. Previously it was on strong. Medium just lets you get a little bit more acceleration without too much wheel spin and being able to hold it a little bit better. So. That's where we're at. We're gonna keep practicing. Welcome to this track. Enjoy your racing. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of uh, quick practice laps here. I'm probably gonna be a little bit off pace, but you come up here, you tuck that inside, you down the hill, you wanna hit this one about three quarter throttle and try and land on the down, which then carries you enough speed up around this corner. Try and keep that tight. And then this one you wanna try and hit with speed. That was offside, but you wanna try and hit it with speed to clear those whoops. This one is just a small hop, hit the down, full throttle, let off, brake, turn in so you don't go wide. This one you can hit a little bit further. This one you wanna short it but hit the down and then you can tuck in. These ones you kind of got to rhythm through with your uh, accelerator. You have to be careful with that corner there because it will uh, hit the pipe. This line, you have to be careful with trying to keep that in. That was a little bit too high, but I just want to show you some tips here. I'm gonna go around and- Left one, 50 point 25 50 seconds. seconds, that's not very good, but I'm going to try and show you a faster lap here. Get on the brake there, tuck in. This one you try and hit some rhythm. And then I go wide on the outside of that corner so I can tuck in and try and hit my lines better in through here. I go wide on that so then I can try and cut in. That was still pushed too wide. This I want to try and keep as low. That was terrible. Anyway, I'm still just learning this track. This will probably also be a 50 second lap. Lap two, 47, 47. Okay. seconds. I'm gonna try and do a clean lap here. This is a fairly big jump. That was too big of a jump, but I was able to hold my momentum. I brake for in there and then full throttle, try and land in the whoops where you carry some momentum, a little hop over, full throttle, brake, turn in, little over jump, and then 
uh, land them down, brake, turn in, full throttle, and then run the whoops, hopefully where you don't get too unsettled, turn in, ooh, that was close. Now this is the most technical section where you're trying to go slow, where slower is faster on this middle inside for sure, because it's most important to try and hold those lines. And we're gonna come around here, ooh, that was too much acceleration. Full throttle and turn Left three, 45, point 45 seconds. seconds. All right, still not great. Ideally, if I can do a 42 second lap is what am I trying to target as. That's gonna be my goal for the qualifier. So let me keep practicing and I'll come back after I do a couple of qualifiers and hopefully I can get there. All right, um, I've been working on this for a bit. I've got two attempts left and my third run was my best. Six laps in 436. I know I can do better, but uh, if I jump over to web results, I just want to show you what my current lap times are and then I'm going to see if I can beat it. So uh, my best run so far, six laps. My slowest lap was lap four. But look at all my marshals. Holy crap, I had a marshal on almost every lap? That's terrible. I got to clean that up. If I can clean it up, then I can shave that two seconds that I get for a marshal, two to three seconds, and I can be quite a bit better. Let's see if we can get cleaner and faster. Minutes and okay, so one more chance with this. That was seconds. my best yet. A 428. Let's see how much better I am in the standings now. I might have moved up a position. So that was pretty good. 46 was my worst lap. First lap out because I made a mistake. Jumped a lane. 44, 43, 44, 45, 43. Okay. Let's see if it's enough. How did I move? Did I move up? Yeah, I moved up two positions, so I went, I think I went from ninth to seventh, so pretty good. And uh, so yeah, fourth run is my best so far. I've got one chance left. Let's see if I can beat it. Have finished. Oh. Drive back to the pit lane. <laughs> one marshal, last lap, last corner. Ah, oh. but best run yet. Let's see how I did in the standings. Your result is six laps in four minutes and 29.03 seconds. Six laps in 429. And if I hadn't have got that Marshall, I would have been at a 426. Yeah, I got a 49 second last lap. Ow. 44, 43, 43, 44, 43, 49. That last lap really, really hurts. Ouch. But I still think that was my best run yet. Let's see. Oh no, that last marshal killed me. My fourth run was still faster by 0.2 of a second. <laughs> All right, well, that was my qualifying. So I'm currently holding in position seven. Now there's still two days left to qualifiers where people can bump me out. Hopefully I can stay in the A for this one. I would like to show you an A main race. Uh, we'll see how it, how it does. I mean, there is potential I can still get bumped out those three spots and land in like upper B. So we'll see what happens. Okay, this is spec buggy, and uh, I'm currently holding sixth position in spec. I just want to show you what spec is like. I'm actually finding it quite soothing or nice to run spec after mod, the stress of mod. This track in particular really, um, I noticed that it's this 1450kV motor really makes it much easier, and I'm only a couple seconds off, so I, you go full throttle here. Uh, just shy of full throttle and you can land that in the nice valley it just lets you hold your lines a little bit better that's full throttle break so this is an example of the 1450 kv the whoops are a little bit different but you just kind of pulse the oh, i should be showing that you just kind of pulse the throttle through the whoops come around here i notice this the in side on-road section is easier to manage because you're carrying less speed and even though the setup of the buggy isn't as good i just find it much easier to drive as well as to kind of hit those apexes too and then you can let off here instead Left of breaking one, 47. so that was a 47. the seconds. best i've done i believe is a 45 in spec so this is an example of spec driving Kind of land in there, carry that through. You want to hit the down there, and then you can carry speed through here. Let's see what kind of a lap time I can get. So I have one attempt left in spec. Oh, my line is off there. I shouldn't have been that far on the inside. I should have gone on the outside, which lets lines me up better for this. That's the quick. Oh, but I nicked the. Dang it, I nicked the pipe. Anyway, 
that's the similar type of lines you want to do for spec. This will be a longer. Left two, 48.72 seconds. Anyway, I can do a better run than that. 90% official track record on that last run. Awesome, in spec. So last Your one was result missed. is six laps in four minutes and 33.65 seconds. Not sure that was good enough to move up any positions, but let's see. So my worst lap was my first lap, 47.6, and then I was very consistent through all the rest of the racing. So, pretty good. Yeah, I didn't move up any positions. My best run was previously run three at a 4.36, and now I did a 4.33, so I shaved off three seconds. All right, that's spec. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new on here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.